What's Bracken guys, welcome to episode 1 of my career mode with FC Utrecht in the Eredivisie. Definitely excited to get going with this one of course. They have some history with some American players in Juan Agudelo and now the young, uh, very promising uh, player in Rubio Rubin. Of course, excited to get going with him as well. Of course, Ayub is another exciting player at the say, so uh, definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, I have never played a career mode in this league, but uh, definitely very intrigued of course. This league is always known for being a quality developmental league essentially you know basically developing stars for uh, the highest levels in Europe but uh, you'll see here definitely hope we can make a decent run of course quarterfinal in the domestic cup we only have to deal with essentially our own league because it's basically a closed league in this game since there's no second division of Dutch league featured in FIFA uh, 15 but uh, you'll see the league objective is to basically finish mid table definitely think we would do that and like to do a lot better than that as well but you see I'll kind of flip through the squad of court reports before we get things going. Definitely think we have some quality on the side, but I uh, do need some improvements, I'd say, in the midfield. I have a lot of young players, especially in central midfield, but uh, you'll see here some decent fullbacks, I'd say, as um, for this level, of course, for our level of play. But I uh, definitely think we need to get up there. I definitely am excited for Marquise, though, as you can see. He has some very good jumping and strength. You can see uh, some good center backs as well. Luin uh, has some good strength. I'm trying to learn how to pronounce their names, and I'll be doing so throughout this career mode as I'll be actually having this uh, the commentary in Dutch so I can try to learn their names. But uh, some good promising players on the side, a lot of pace, and some good... Uh, technical ability as well. You see Ayub, I'm definitely excited for. Uh, you can see he's very well-rounded center mid. 72 overall, 20 years old. Uh, so he definitely looks like he'd be a decent uh, center mid for us. Johnson, I'm going to probably look to sell because I'm probably going to try to feature uh, Rubio Rubin in that cam role. But you see we have on loan Verbeek as well. Looks has some good good pace there, but uh, we probably would need to find someone permanently because uh, Duplan is getting a little bit older. Uh, Rubio R Rubin, of course, I've been talking about. And we have Aler on loan for, with us. And it looks like he'd be decent. But Boymans is a very big striker. I remember uh, for AZ, I believe he played for recently. Uh, and he's pretty strong. And Tommy Orr, a very good left winger who plays for Australia. So Definitely have some promising players, but we need to strengthen up the midfield. Exactly what we're going to look to do. So we're going to bring in Cesar Fuentes, a very good, versatile player who can provide us some cover at right back as well as center mid. I have done a player growth test on him if you want to check him out because he's definitely a quality player, and I think he'll be good uh, depth-wise. And he'll probably start at center mid essentially, but uh, he provided some depth at right back as well. So I'm actually, uh, you can see I'm going to bring down just going to offer basically 400 euros here I'm going to uh, try to do a player exchange as well 400,000 euros and uh, sell off Johnson to uh, their side so uh, get his wages off essentially and bring in a very promising young center mid who can play right back as you can see medium medium work rates because I'm looking to go do a basically 4 through 3 that's going to be very attacking it's basically going to be similar to the uh, formation I'm running in my Real Sociedad career as well but uh, we're going to offer this up hopefully you can bring him in because he definitely does look like a very promising player the uh, the transfer offer acceptance so we get to that cr that contract offer excuse me i just want too man many wages but uh definitely set to improve the squad so i will talk about that a little bit more of course i'm always going to be open to suggestions especially uh considering how interactive i like to be with you guys and uh that's always uh is great in my opinion for Kruma, but you see the contract offer was accepted. So going to bring on the youngster to our side, our side, excuse me, but uh, we'll take a look at his uh, stats here. He's 69 overall already. It's definitely very good for this level. He's going to slot in next to Ayub essentially. So uh, you'll see right there is what we're going to run at 4-3-3. And he's definitely a lot more well-rounded, a bit more attacking minded, I'd say, as you can see, has some good mental stats and everything. Um, Decent ball control. He just looks like a very solid, well-rounded center mid. And, of course, he can play right back as well. His stats may be better for right back in some people's opinion. But uh, either way, he will he can play both spots. And definitely we will probably see uh, action in both spots throughout the season. But we can see we're going to get into this first game, however, against SC Cambor. And uh, definitely looking forward to this one. Um, it's going to take some time to learn all these names. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if you guys can help me as well, that would be cool. But uh, we'll see here. Of course, they're going with 4-3-3 as well. Except they have a holding midfielder. So we'll see how this goes. It's definitely going to be basically uh, a 1v1 battle throughout this matchup with this formation. But uh, basically just going to have to outplay them in all facets of the game unless they change tactics and the like. But as you can see, again, very attacking 4-3-3. Uh, of course, uh, you can see or on the left, Verbeek 
then of course big man boy mints with Ruben playing in behind so we'll see how this goes here you know they're gonna come out pretty nicely here uh, but uh, we do do a good job winning that ball we're gonna push down the wing and a lot of space here on the counter attack you can see four three three there's so many numbers and that's what I'd like about this you can see he does beat the defender he's gonna cut in he's gonna send this low cross Rubio Ruben on the end of that cross and he's going to hit the post he's gonna hit off the keeper it's gonna be cleared out it's Rubio Ruben this essentially would be his first prof his professional debut uh, he cannot score right there unfortunately we'll see the balls be played back some very good link up play but a poor shot in the end there either way it's been a very uh, tight matchup both teams with some very good chances that we've scuffed so we'll see uh, who can break through here now but Tommy Orr does win the ball he's gonna send this cross in to Boymans and what a run and finish and a cross as well a gorgeous cross from the Australian left winger so definitely excited to have him on our side but I do think we'll see some offers eventually but uh uh, we would probably uh, not sell him off in this year at least, or at least not in this transfer window. Of course, that's a gorgeous cross, gorgeous finish, as you can see. Great positioning by the big man, Boymans. I do like bigger strikers, I have to say. So uh, when you guys offer up some smaller strikers, sometimes I am not may not be huge on them. Uh, that kind of came out punny, but uh, either way... Um, I do think uh, that's kind of my preference, as you guys will see. But look at that save. Look at that shot in that sequence from Combo to right there. But uh, on this corner kick, it looks like they're going to try to have a ch get a chance going. And what a save off the line. I believe that is from Cesar Fuentes. But uh, either way, uh, good job defensively uh, stopping that chance. So we're going to see right here at the end of the game, basically 90th minute. Of course, there wasn't too much going on throughout this matchup. But uh, balls we played back here. A Great cross in. Look at Boyman's getting on the end of that one. He just looks like he has some great attack positioning and the like. And, of course, that leads to him getting into those good spots. So it's great to have a player like him, of course, a big target man who can finish his chances. So hopefully he can carry on to his form in the next matchup as he ends this one with the brace, giving us our first one of the season in a way matchup. But uh, you'll see we're going to send one of our younger players out on loan. Looks like he has a little bit of potential, maybe the 60 overall, 20 years of age. But uh, we'll see how it goes as this is a huge matchup at home against. PSV Eindhoven definitely a big match I tried to change the name for the stadium but it never works out so I apologize for that I just hope they can fix that finally um, or just have more licensed stadiums essentially and we're actually going to just put out the same 4-3-3 uh, it's basically a huge gamble and we'll see if it can pay off in this matchup here uh, it's going to be a very attacking lineup against a very strong attacking side as you can see the guys getting ready I really like both sides uniform I'd say but uh, uniforms for this matchup you can see they have some quality players of course we'll see how this goes they're going to have Depay up top up on that left wing of course it may probably some cause cause us some problems up there it's again 4-3-3 versus 4-3-3 seems like a uh, very typical formation at this level but look at Boyman's the huge chance is going to scuff that almost came out with the huge goal right out of the box right out of the gates uh, I think is a proper term, but I will take it either way. Uh, it was a good chance to get get us going here, but you'll see now uh, PSV is going to try to come back here and get things going, and great uh, header right there. Ball is going to fall back here, try to win the ball back, and a good break maybe coming here from this chance. We're going to try to push forward, keep on going, push down this flank, go cut into the middle. Good ball from Ayub is going to play Tommy Orr through, but look at Memphis Depay. Look at that pace. Look at that pace. He's tracking back, man. Uh, when he's doing stuff like that, it's going to be really hard to break down that defense. And look at that close little control from Rubio Ruben, however, to Ayub. He's going to play the ball back in here. Good little one-two play. He's going to try to play the ball through. Look at this little one-two. But great defense from Karim Rekik. Rek uh, and you can see we're going to try to come back play the ball back out wide you know we're just creating a lot of chances very very dangerous so far in this first half hopefully we can carry it over to goal goal Ayub the ball is going to fall back here to Verbeek and look at that save closes his legs perfectly at the right moment or else that was likely going underneath for a goal uh, unfortunately we cannot finish that one off as it would have been a huge finish on that big chance chance uh, but uh, you see they're going to come back and unfortunately the young is going to score the goal right there defense caught out of sorts and that's the problem without not having a defensive midfielder so we're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see how this formation works and hopefully you know uh, we can try to keep on going and grab a goal equalize this game but of course this formation may be good against smaller sides like the team we are playing in the previous fixture but uh, it's going to be tough against P teams like PSV I'd say as you know they're going to come down of course Williams is tremendous but uh, cutting down Depay is going to play the ball through here and that's going to be a goal there. Defense was all out of sorts on that one. Definitely 
going to fault myself. But unfortunately, looks like the floodgates have opened here um, as they are trying, to, as we basically try to push back for the equalizer. But uh, it's going to be tough now with them in this form, having getting some things going. You see them coming back here, just again playing down the wing, very tough to defend. But you see some good little one-two play, some gorgeous play in general, really, I have to say. See the balls going to be played back here. Look at that shot. It's going to fall right into the path. And unfortunately, uh, it's going to be the third goal of the matchup. So again, this has been very tough. I don't think we deserve to be down this much. But uh, that's just when you're facing a lethal team, honestly. Because we have created plenty of chances. have not exactly converted them. But uh, we have been in this match. We see here, Tommy Orr basically posts up. His defender is going to take this header. And what a save there. Um, that is just pretty frustrating, I have to say. But uh, either way, they come back again, trying to push for the fourth. Basically, definitely put the nail in the coffin right here. As you can see, some great play out on the wing. So agile. Just cannot defend one-on-one -on -one right there. And it's going to be a header, unfortunately, as we go down. 4 nothing in this matchup, but either way, it's always going to be a tough matchup. It was at home, so I would like to at least you know, steal a point or something. It's PSV. But again, uh, it's always going to be tough against a side like them. So either way, I thought we did have a good showing in the first half at the least. So we'll take that, try to build upon it. But again, just to round things out to give you guys ideas for transfer, I'm going to scroll down you know, the player list, the squad reports, see who you guys think, think I should go after, what I can do to improve this squad. Because I definitely think you know we do need to uh, at least build for the fut future. You know, or I don't think he's going to be here that long. Then, of course, Verbeek is just here, chest on loan. So I don't think we're gonna be having be having him permanently. So I definitely could afford some changes. Of course, uh, especially at right wing, we may look want to look to bring in someone. Uh, Verbeek has been solid, but has not been the greatest. And we could, of course, just use some improvement at all in all facets. Essentially, um, we do have some promising young players. I would say we have some decent depth at our center back, and we, of course we have plenty of pacey wingers. But we need, just need a little bit more quality in that sense, and we have a bit of depth at right back and left back. I would say. So either way, uh, give me ideas of where I should improve, guys. I'll be showing in a second uh, how much transfer money I have essentially at my disposal, as you can see here. Uh, we have some quality players. You can see uh, a guy that came in from Monaco, Barrazate. Uh, looks like a decent player for our side as we continue to scroll down. So as you can see here, the finances we have aren't the greatest. Despite the low finances, I definitely think we can bring in some quality players. So, of course, leave some suggestions, of course, especially as far as what area you guys think I should prove in general as well. That would be a great help. Just give me some more ideas. Because we do have some decent depth for the depth and stuff for this level. But uh, it's going to get pretty tough, as you can see. I think we can win this match here uh, against Heracles. Then we have to, however, go up against Ajax eventually later on this month before uh, basically on transfer deadline day. So, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I can bring in all the players I want and need before that that matchup to try to get things going and maybe grab a result against them at home but thanks guys for tuning in this episode now uh, i hope you enjoyed it of course leave comments suggestion and feedback here below i'll be sending out now guys and i'll catch you guys later